17 and I decided to record my first album and I had a laptop and I had two channels of input and I needed to do like drums and bass and guitar and everything. I wanted to go big with the first thing. I actually got a mixer and I pumped a bunch of mics into just two channels. Made my first album, so I moved over to Oregon and that's really when I started getting serious into music. Started uh, programming beats for other producers and taking on production jobs for local artists out there. Then I went full time working on music by myself and landed a really big uh, hit, Cool Kids, band Echo Smith performed it, co-wrote the song with them, and the rest is kind of history. Here I am in LA now, and uh, yeah, it's fun. Since I've moved to LA, I've kind of gotten away from producing artists. I uh, got in more into composing and uh, writing. I've been working with a few companies and doing movie trailers a lot this past year. And one of my favorite projects I've worked on uh, was the first trailer I ever got the chance to do. It was for Resident Evil, the final chapter, the latest, latest film from the, those guys. And it was a Guns N' Roses uh, song that I got to remix and, uh, or as they like to say, augment and add a bunch of movie trailer score stuff to it. And, you know, as much as this stuff that I actually do, I'm still like a little fanboy inside whenever I get to work on one of the superhero movies or, or something. I still get a little excited. I run into a Scarlett 18 by 20, runs into a custom made SIG or laptop, and I have a huge library of samples and the Atom Audio speakers are my go-to. <laughs> I've had them a long time. It's a Pretty simple setup, but it gets the job done. You don't need much these days to have a commercial sound. The A7X has been kind of a staple in my music career since I really started going commercial and professional. When I first listened to it, it scared me because I was going from uh, row kits and I switched over to the A7Xs and um, I heard things that I didn't hear on the other monitors and it made me realize, oh no, I've been sending out songs that aren't sounding as good as I thought they sounded. So they've been with me for a long time and recently since I got into uh, the composing and the trailers, added on the uh, sub 10, which has uh, allowed me to make sure that everything is nice and tamed and well-rounded on the low end. The sub 10 allows me to know when I'm stretching a little bit further because to get a good mix, you want to kind of tame the low end just enough to where it's not, you know, ruining your master. A lot of the detail I found in other monitors outside of the A7X or, or just Atom monitors in general, they lost a lot of detail in the upper mids. It wasn't very accurate and the A7Xs have been flat and very responsive and crisp in the high ends and the right amount of boom in the low end. The stereo feel was interesting because I actually, at that point when I first got them, didn't learn much about the stereo field. You know, you would just do 50% pan that way and that way on guitars and you're like, oh, it'd make the guitar sound bigger. But when I really um, got into learning, mixing and mastering as like an, a technical thing, I would definitely say it's an essential to have uh, good monitors as your number one thing. You can have a, a crappy audio interface, you could have a crappy MIDI keyboard, but if you don't have good monitors, you're not gonna be able to make a good sounding song. In the end. When I first got my uh, Atom A7Xs, uh, I had an issue with one of them, and I called uh, customer service, and they had such personal service, and they sent me a replacement one right away and solved my issue. Like I was someone that was famous, and I was just a kid in a bedroom at that time in my life making music. You know, from day one to, to now, they've treated me as one of like their most important customers. And I think it goes to show you that 
their customer service is probably the best that I've ever dealt with in the industry. And it's one of the reasons why I'm a big fan, because not only do you guys make great products, but you stand behind it.